and welcome to Stan Wyman TV. I am your host, Stan Rutan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show, where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. Part two, featuring my Winery of the Year Longship Cellars. Really love the Riesling. The cab was knockout for the money. Really was. Now we're going to move on to their big boys. They're Tempranillo and their Syrah. Now these aren't all the wines they make. They have other wines as well, but these are the only four, four that I will review just featuring their wines because, you know, we got other things to review. I'm very excited. I had a nice conversation with Kyle Welch. Uh, put it up on my two blogs, uh, the Winery of the Year, Blue Collar Wine Guy, and StandTheWineMan.com, which I will put the links below. Hopefully I can get remember to do that. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, they're Scandinavian, so all the, you know, the whole long ship thing with the, the Vikings and all that is, is on their labels, which is really, really cool, a tribute to their heritage. Um, Kyle seems like a very energetic guy. They plan on, right now they're at 2,500 cases, plan to go to 5,000 cases, don't want to go past that because Kyle says he really doesn't want to hire anybody. I mean, 5,000 case production, one winemaker, you know, his family, his family helps out. I forgot to ask who, um, you know, who, they mentioned it on their website, which I should put a link to their website down below. I'll try to remember to do that. But let's get going right away. These I'm excited about these wines. It was their Syrah that really caught my attention at first, thanks to Ashley for uh, bringing that in and sharing it with me. Uh, this is the 2016 Longship Cellars Invader Tempranillo Walla Walla Valley. So he gets his fruit from Walla Walla. Uh, on the back it says, I am the invader. These roll in at $28. There you go. Now, you know, Tempranillo, and, and uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say that, but, you know, uh, one of the first wines that uh, Kyle said he really fell in love with was Rioja. So it makes sense that he would do a Tempranillo. I still love Rio on myself, very much so. So Tempranillo, in fact, I think it's Tempranillo that has the most synonyms of any grapes in the world. I mean, they, they're called, Tempranillo is called so many things, it's like ridiculous. It's redonkulous how many different names Tempranillo has throughout different countries. So let's see what we get on the nose. Get a little bit of a charcoal, like a tobacco charcoal, Cherries. Definitely a char element. Like somebody just burnt, you know how you, you, you put out a, you're burning some wood on the beach and you put it out and you get that, then it kind of cools down and you get that kind of char smell. Definitely get the cherries. A little bit of blackberry coming through. And a lot of tobacco, loads of tobacco. I got tobacco on this cab as well, which is... And, and it, at some point in your career as a wine person, what, whether it's career as a wine person, in your wine drinking, I think uh, when you understand tobacco, you'll really understand it, like, uh, you'll really get it, like, why I like that in a wine so much. It's just the coolest thing ever. Let's see what we get on the palate. That's a big, bold, smooth wine. A lot of white and black pepper on the finish. I get um, dark cherry and blackberry, and I'm even getting a little bit of black plum, which I didn't get on the nose. A lot of tobacco. This thing just like blows your palate up. But at the same time, it's not over the top, it's not goopy, it's not extracted fruit, it's just big. And it's got a lot of stuff going on. 
and that tobacco just lingers with the pepper, white pepper. I love that, that peppery, spicy finish. Finish. Ooh. Tannins are structured but approachable. It's not too tannic, but it does grip a little bit on the backside, which I like. This baby. <laughs> you doing prime rib tonight? I know this is a little late. If you uh, did prime rib for Christmas, this is Friday, so too late for that. But if you have some leftover prime rib, you might want to snag a bottle of this bad, bad boy. This would be awesome. Incredible, fabulous with prime rib. Or any steak, grilled steak, anything like that. This would be the bomb with that. Get a little bit of earth, like a little bit of dirt underneath. That's really cool. This is a very complex Tempranillo. This, this has a little bit of that kind of Rioja-ish, that's a word, characteristics to it. So ha hats off to Kyle for doing that, but still you can tell it's new world. Of course you can. It's just big wine All right, for 28 bucks. I mean, that's, that's a lot of freaking wine for 28 bucks. I'm just saying right off the bat. Um, yeah, we're, I'm, I think we're doing uh, Yeah, like I said, this is going to go with my leftover primer. See, there's a nice, cool, like, rose petal thing, right? Kind of, kind of just sneaks in there, here and there on the palate. It's really cool. Solid wine, solid, solid wine. Uh, would once again fit the savory palette as well as the fruit palette. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight up A on that. That's a solid one. Well made. You could age this. I'm, I'm saying right now this thing will age for at least ten years. Easy. And I'd be really, really curious to see where it'll be at in ten years. I I just have to stash away a bottle and find out for myself. I guess. Let's move on. The one that made me fall in love with their winery, uh, Longship Cellars Gingerman Syrah, Walla Walla Valley 2016. This also rolls in at 28 bucks. And Kyle was talking about uh, Syrah you know, being a tough sell. He is right, but it is at least at King's Market, where I work, where I'm the wine guy, we're starting to sell more Syrah. So I'm encouraged by that. But it did take a hit when the Shiraz from Australia just went in the toilet. Syrah followed suit. Same grape. And us wine guys spent all this time telling everybody, no, 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 Shiraz and Syrah, the same thing. And then guess what happened? Shiraz tanks, we convinced everybody. Then all of a sudden, they're not drinking Syrah either. Or because Shiraz is so cheap, they're wondering why Syrah is so expensive. Well, a lot of those cheap Shiraz are mass produced. I mean, Yellowtail, Lindemans, Jacobs Creek. I mean, they make a ton of wine. And here we have these craft wineries making small batches of Syrah that are just stellar. Let's see what we get on the nose. A little challenge on the nose. I get a little bit of a meat marinade component coming through. I get boysenberry for sure. A lot of boysenberry. That actually kind of hit me all of a sudden. I get a little bit of uh, like a wood characteristic coming through. Not oak so much, just kind of like dried wood. Yeah, let's see what we get on the palate. A little bit of tobacco as well. Let's see what we get on the palate. Solid round, I mean, just a solid Syrah all the way across the board. I mean, I, I'm i telling you, I like Waters. I reviewed that a few times back. I, I love Waters. I like the Trunk Cellars. 
This just has so much structure. It has earth and tobacco and boysenberry and ripe blueberries in the background and and um, and tobacco just lingers like crazy. Um, when I first tried this, I thought of coat roti with a little bit of baby fat on it, and I still feel the same way. I mean, this has a very coat roti-ish style thing going on on the palate, but you can you can taste the New World fruit in it. So I mean, you're just talking a solid wine. Once again, I would say 10 to 15 years aging this wine, and you are going to be uh, rewarded big time if you have the patience to do that. I don't know if I, I would. I love this Syrah. The tannins are nicely integrated. The acidity is nicely integrated. The fruit and the earth and the tobacco all very well integrated. Um, a little bit of spice, just a, barely on the back side, but it's there. Um, a little bit chewy. Oh, and I know what I was thinking. A little bit of raspberry, just barely. Kind of hits here and there on the palate. I like this wine a lot. I think $28, again, is a, is a fair price for what you're getting here. And um, I don't know, Kyle Welch has a great, I think he has a great palette, a great touch. I hope he keeps it up. I hope he keeps on doing what he's doing because so far I'm very, very excited about everything that they're doing. They're my winery of the year for 2018. Welcome to the wines. If you get a chance to try them, please do. They're fairly priced. They're, the quality is there. They're very, these in particular are very ageable wines. And um, yeah, love them. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like um, and the bell if you want to know when episodes are coming out. I do an episode every Tuesday and Friday and I've been really regular about that. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to be pushing this. I'm getting more and more subscribers. Thank you very much. Thank you for the comments too. I really appreciate that a lot. You keep watching and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.